In this video, I'm going to try something totally new. I'm going to challenge myself to design a style frame in 30 minutes. Hey there, my name is Cameron with Motion Science, and today I'm going to give myself a challenge, and that challenge is to design a style frame in 30 minutes or less. Now, there's a whole process involved whenever I create a style frame from scratch, and I don't know where to start. And I actually examine that process very thoroughly in my course called Stylecraft. So definitely check that out if you're interested in the process. But today, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes, and I'm gonna see how the style frame turns out. So let's get started. Okay, so I've always wanted to do a style frame in the vein of a surreal collage. I see a lot of this stuff on social media, so I figured I'd try my hand at this. So the first thing I do is download a couple images. I really like this image a lot, so I'm using the pen tool to very quickly cut out the two women in the water, horizon line, give it a nice little feather, dropping a planet in the background, just to see what I can come up with. Searching for additional space imagery back here. The clock is ticking. I know I have 30 minutes or less, and it's actually pretty fun to do this. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done this. So uh, putting the, the space image in the water, trying to create a reflection here of the galaxy in the water, looking pretty cool. The edge of the horizon is a little bit funky. It's too crisp, doesn't blend very well. So trying to blend the horizon in a little bit better, playing around with the image more, bring another mask into this horizon to try and feather the horizon a little bit. This works a little bit better. The coloring is really off. So between the two images, the coloring doesn't look so great. So that's why I'm using curves here to attempt to recolorize the images. And now I'm using sapphire film effect which is one of my favorite effects to give like a color grade to any composition it's a really quick way to add color grade and to get some quick looks now i'm trying some some different imagery again in the background just trying different things whenever i design i like to try as many different visual ideas as possible so that's what i'm doing here just downloading importing quickly drag and drop does it work? Does it not work? Uh, pretty quickly, you're going to know what your intuition, your design intuition is telling you uh, if something's working or not. So here I am trying another image and trying to use some distortion to make it look like a reflection in the water. Again, using curves to color correct images to make them blend better together. Adjustment layers over the top, adjusting the film effect. That's looking pretty cool. Again, every time I look at the clock, it just freaks me out though. I'm like running out of time. Like what can I do really quickly? It's also, you know, like a little bit nerve wracking to show you guys this process because I don't know if anything's gonna come out of this that's any good or if it's just gonna completely suck. So here's another moon image I found that looks pretty awesome. I thought it could probably be used for um, any type of planet, just not just the moon. So I colorized it a little bit more on the green side. Then I tried the red side, the purple, tried to position it above the water like it was rising on the horizon. Not working so great. There's some weird edges. Anytime I'm moving really quickly like this, um, you know, I'm missing out on some of the little details, the subtleties that need to be adjusted to make this, these style frames look that much better. Uh, but again, just trying out ideas, trying imagery, playing more with glows and lighting and color correction and mats, constantly trying different mats, alpha matting, luma matting, just to see what's working. Also positioning elements in different places on the screen, just to see you know, what's gonna work, what's not gonna work. I really like the position of the two girls in the water. So that's you know pretty much set in stone. So I have this upper two thirds of the screen to work with. And that's what I'm playing around with here with the different galaxies and nebulas and planets. Now I'm starting to get closer here. I, I like the color uh, of the two women in the water at this point. I like the, the color grade. 
It's getting closer with the galaxy. It's getting closer with the planet. Just trying to rotate things around again. It's just still playing around with position. It's all about just playing around, having fun, seeing if something works in one position. If it doesn't work, trying it someplace else. Now I'm adding some quick blur to kind of blur out some of the imagery in the background. I don't want it to be crystal clear. Uh, it's going to look too fake, right? If that planet's sitting way back in that background and it's clear to the human eye, it needs to be, have a little bit of blur to, to sit more comfortably in the composite. Again, so now I found something I like. So now is the point where I'm starting to fine tune positioning of the images of the planet of the galaxy back there and just really honing in on that look. So I'm adjusting the blurs. I'm adjusting some of the glows. I like to use a lot of glow and lighting effects in my work. So I'm trying different ideas here very quickly. Going into chromatic aberration, this is always a fun effect to use. Um, I'm trying to finish something out. Uh, in this one, it works okay. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I turned it back off, went back and added some grain, which is something I like to put over the top of my composites most of the time. Again, going back to glow, see if I can make it work or not. And uh, again, it's getting really, really close. I'm almost out of time coming up on 25 minutes, which I finished this in, in 25 minutes. And here we go. And we're going to call that good. I hope that you really enjoyed this lesson as much as I loved teaching it. So please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to this channel. It helps other people find this channel as well. If you're looking to upgrade your design skill set, master the art of style and execute like a pro, I have a course called Stylecraft that you can check out at motionscience.tv. You can also learn more about this course by clicking the link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Cameron and this is Motion Science.